did I just find the Baofeng killer? Y'all, this radio has completely amazed me. For the price of it, what it can do, I'm just shocked. So I'm going to go over a few things today with it. Um, and one of the things is actually I'm going to do a range test and do an actual in-field testing with the radio. So stick around. It's going to be a little bit longer video, but I think you'll enjoy it, uh, especially for TikTok. Usually you don't see these longer videos, but definitely stick around. So this is the TID radio TDH3. And of course, I had to get it in the clear crystal because why Why wouldn't you? Why You know, you got to. So a few quick things about it. One has Bluetooth. What does that mean? It allows you to program through the app. The um, OD Master app, which we went through on a couple other videos ago, uh, showing how to program things like the UV5RM using their Bluetooth programmer. This has it built in. You don't need to buy the programmer. You just buy the radio. And it's not much more than just the programmer. Now, definitely get the programmer too as well. You can go back a couple videos back. I made some videos on it showcasing it because I'm sure you've got other radios around that do not have the Bluetooth and it is nice to just be able to uh, program it on the go. Has Bluetooth, has the air bands, so you can listen. You can't transmit, but you can listen to the air bands. Listen to your air traffic coming through. Even if you don't live near an airport, you can still pick up a lot of air traffic passing overhead uh, and such. So it has a great display. And by great, I, I mean it's in comparison, right? So, uh, and I'm going to go over that a little bit more uh, later on in the video. But it is much easier to read in the sunlight than some of the others and a brighter display as well. So let's kind of go and test it and see what it's like talking on it and see what it's like in the field, see what my range may be on it and kind of talk a little bit on how that may vary for you. So let's go talk on it. All right, so we're in my truck and I'm gonna drive down the road and we're gonna see uh, what kind of distance I'm getting. Now, with that said, um, distance is going to, it's gonna range widely very, and when I say widely, I mean very widely, depending on where you're at. Um, so I've got a radio set up uh, with an antenna outside the house. <clears throat> the antenna is only about four foot high. So similar to how you would be on a normal radio uh, outside the house. And I've got it set up to where it'll repeat back what I say. So as long as the signal makes it to the, uh, to the radio here at the house, it'll repeat that signal back to me and essentially simulate a, uh, a radio conversation like that. So I'll give you an example here. So uh, test, test, test of the parrot repeater, uh, WSFI 693. Uh, test, test, test of the parrot repeater, uh, WSFI 693. So it's just going to continue to repeat back. But uh, in my area, I'm I'm in Florida. We've got a little bit of rolling hills where I'm currently at. We're, uh, we're near Alabama, so we're kind of in those rolling hills there. And it, uh, and a very heavy wooded area, and I'm in a rural area, uh, so not in any large fields or anything, but I also don't have any large buildings, I don't have any major hills or anything, so uh, I'm going to show you uh, what I can get. And we'll talk a little bit more on range and, and why you may get further or why you may get less. Alright, so we are about a mile from the house, uh, and there's a couple things to, to think about. So one, I'm inside a vehicle that's going to greatly reduce uh, my signal strength um, and uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to give it a test though here in a mile uh, testing testing uh, simplex repeater wsfi 693 i didn't get anything let's try it again uh, testing simplex repeater wsfi 693 just barely came through there uh, i suspect what we're going to find out is actually as i go a little bit further uh, the signal is going to kind of come and go, and that's pretty uh, pretty typical. All right, so I'm at about two miles now. Uh, let's let's check and see uh, see if we got any better signal. And then uh, when I get up the road here, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and step out of the truck and see what uh, getting out of the truck does. And I've also got a couple other radios, and we're gonna kind of test head to head there. All right, so I do seem to be on the fringe of where I might can reach. We'll try a, a different location here. 
but it's trying. So as as I'm hitting it, it was just barely just getting some. Speed back. Um, so let's uh, let's try a different location. We're gonna go ahead and we'll try that again. Uh, WSFI six nine three testing simplex repeater. So that came in pretty close. Um, and then what you'll have is uh, what's called deviation. And that's where even if you move just a little bit, we'll just move over here and we're going to test again. And I didn't get anything. So, and as we as we test the uh, moving around here. And as we moving around here. Makes a big difference. Your antenna height is probably the most important. Uh, if I was to just even get five feet up in the air, we'll make a difference here. But uh, let's go ahead and we'll just keep uh, keep playing around with some radios. All right, so we're going to uh, finish up this distance test. I know it wasn't super scientific, and um, you know I guess you could try and go even further and further. But once you kind of understand what the limitations are there, you can kind of see going further doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um, uh, for, for me in my area because it doesn't really get any better. The, the thing is, is it's not the distance, it's the amount of things in between you and the other radio. But we're going to try the Abri 771 on the uh, TID Radio TDH3, which has become definitely one of my favorite radios for sure, uh, for many different reasons. But uh, testing on the TID Radio with the Abri 771 antenna. Uh, testing on the TID Radio with the Abri 771 antenna. Again, I know we're very little static. What you kind of heard there was some wind noise uh, coming through there. All right, now I'm going to show a little bit about this, the display and how it sees in the sun. So if you can see the TID radio on the left, it actually has a much brighter screen on it, which makes it a, a little bit easier to read in the sunlight. Uh, it also has a better range of... You go side to side, you can still kind of see it versus the uh, the talk pod here, which also has a decent display on it. Not complaining either way. Uh, these LCD displays are really tough to see. I'm going to show you with the UV5RM. All right, now definitely a noticeable difference between it and the UV5RM. The UV5RM, you can just you can't even tell it's on uh, in the sunlight here. Again, both are very capable radios. Both uh, very, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're just good radios all around, especially for the price. Even if they were more expensive, they would still be considered good radios. Uh, but you can see the display here is it's very important to me. To others, it is not. So this is using looking at an LCD display versus it's also an LCD display, but... Uh, it's that monochrome, and with that monochrome, you will always be able to see it in the sunlight. And if that's actually an issue for you, the just old-fashioned UV5R is is probably better for a, a lot of applications. So, for example, if you're uh, running out in paintball and uh, a lot of people do aerosol and stuff, having this radio is a little bit easier and simpler to see outside uh, again the lcd on the uh, tid radio is nice uh, but that that i can see an advantage of just having that monochrome display over an lcd display and again very very capable radios either way so what are my first these are first impressions of this radio uh, so it's not really a review just yet. I'm going to give a full review of it and kind of go over some of the functions and things that I like the most about it. But my first initial review is I love it. It's going to be one of my new favorite radios for sure. It uh, it has a great display on it uh, in comparison to my other radios around the same price range of their display. And it's actually quite a bit brighter. And you can kind of see it's it's actually quite a bit brighter and clearer. It also gives more information 
it seems to transmit just as good. There's so many variations with the radio transmission, it's kind of hard to see which radio is best. A lot of that had to do with antennas and uh, deviation and such. They all seem to perform very, very similarly, even though some of these are higher wattage than this one. I love the size of it. And again, to compare it to um, the UV5RM, which has been my favorite radio for a while now, it is so much easier to carry around. And it does the same job. It has a better display. And uh, so many other features that we have not even talked about. It's got Bluetooth, guys. It's got Bluetooth. You can program it through Bluetooth wirelessly through your phone. This thing is amazing. And I'm going to go through uh, some more details with it in other videos. This is going to have to be a multi-part video because there's so much to cover with it and, and kind of go through. But it has now become my new favorite radio, or at least one of my favorite vi radios for sure. Now, it doesn't mean that other radios are bad, but this one's definitely fun. And let's continue on, and let's keep talking.